Hello to everyone. First of all, I want to say that I send all my greetings from Turkey. Uh, I would like to be there and follow this important event face to face with you, but I couldn't be there. I couldn't be there because of some problems. Uh, uh, of course, uh, I I must thank the conference organizing committee and you, dear participants, and I I hope. Uh, that the conference is going well and I believe that it uh, it will be very productive and enjoyable for all of you as you can see from the, the uh, conference program uh, the name of my paper is uh, reproduction of masculinity over the gender tradition mediation practices in Kurdish society uh, because this is a study or this is a research about Batma peace building and culture and parallel to its name, the main aim of the paper is to reveal the relationship between traditional mediation mechanism and uh, gender, especially masculinity. In fact, the information I will share with you consists of the preliminary results and research process of the uh, project titled Batma Peacemaking and Gender, the Reproduction of Masculinity in the conflict resolutions between Kurdish tribes in Mardin, Mardin, Turkey, which was accepted by, by Mardin Artuklu University Scientific Research Committee and of which I am the coordinator. Uh, being familiar with the sociology of Mardin, the city uh, where I have been living and working uh, for about 12 years, uh, made it possible for me to access the first sample group. Uh, but especially I use snowball sampling uh, after the first group. Uh, as a female researcher, it was challenging, of course, it was challenging for me to interview men with power based on different uh, sources such as economic status and uh, political, each of whom had gained prestige in society. Uh, and it was even more challenging to work on gender in tribes uh, because tribe is a, a, a uh, uh, a male-dominated cultural structure or cultural inst institution in Kurdish community. Uh, for example, when I ask some questions about the place of women in this process of the role of women uh, in the mediation process, the interview viewers interviews uh, were often met with surprise. But I know that why they surprise why they they uh they look at they, they look at these uh, questions surprisingly being interviewed as an academic provided a status balance of course however it wasn't easy to collect data on uh, an unequal ground especially because of gender and moreover, it wasn't easy to obtain information on conflict resolution and gender because uh, Mardin is a conflictual area, but not only because of the inter-tribal conflicts in uh, the community, in, in, in society, because, because of uh, the, the, it, it's an area of uh, uh, major conflicts, which was, which was started uh, bit, uh, between uh, Turkish state and Kurdish political movements uh, at 1984. But despite all the limitations, I believe that I get lots of information, lots of data. And the data collection period lasted approximately four, I mean, four months. Uh, however, drawing strength from the alternative methods offered by feminist approach, social spaces such as weddings, funerals, or family gatherings, events, or buses also uh, contributed to me as auxiliary uh, data collection areas. I interviewed uh, 18, uh, yeah, 18 people. Uh, some of them I had to interview several times. The interview lasted between uh, 14 minutes to 2 hours and took place in the different places, such as the a mediator's office, workplace, or their village, or a cafe, restaurant. And all all interviewees are uh, views are male. Although I conducted a deep research to reach 
women, they are almost non-existent existent in this field. Uh, at this point, I have to state that as a result of the new information uh, I have obtained, especially from political parties, I plan to go to the field again to expand the number of interviews because I have learned that the Peace Mothers Platform, these platforms are uh, consist of the mothers of the members of PKK who have died in class and they act in the political arena with the demand for peace. And because of that, they have an important place in the, uh, the political and social arena of Kurd, Kurd, Kurdish uh, society. Uh, and they are involved in certain cases at the point of conflict resolution. Uh, even though the cases they are involved uh, in are mostly uh, the resolution of micro conflicts, such as problems between spouses, uh, I want to interview them to understand why they are not or cannot be involved as mediators in meso conflicts, at least, because the conflicts resolved by the mediators uh, that this study focuses on are meso conflicts, which are uh, referred to as intergroup conflicts. Uh, therefore, the information I will provide lacks the data I will obtain from them. Uh, and lastly, for the analysis of the data of the study, documentary and thematic analysis will be used. Simultaneously, and discourse analysis will be conducted, of course. Uh, I am currently uh, transcribing and thematizing the interviews, so instead of quoting from the interviews, I will make more general evaluations now. Uh, before going into the details, I can list three major outcomes, possible outcomes of my research. First of all, uh, the, the first one is uh, that um, cultural institutions such as peace committees are gendered in traditional societies in favor of masculinity, and this is the biggest handicap of traditional traditional methods of reconciliation. Uh, the second one is that the actors of social negotiation diversified and af diversified uh, uh, after 90s and local methods started to constitute an alternative to the dysfunctional state justice system. And the last one is that traditional mediators and their peace committees who resolve intertribal conflicts in Kurdish communities use religious discourses to reconcile groups. However, after the 90s, with the transformation of pro-Kurdish political parties into actors involved in social negotiations, the discourse of reconciliation was drawn to a political ground based on uh, ethnic struggle. Classic. Classic liberal peacemaking, which international actors choose to resort to for conflict resolution and uh, adapt as a contemporary peacemaking, consists of or largely consists of a standardized method, strategies, tactics. Moreover, it has been seen in many cases that sustainable peace cannot be achieved by applying only these methods. However, uh, alternative methods which have started to take place in academic literature as traditional or indigenous peace building show that peace can be created from below, not from above, and local peace can contain very important clues for social, social peace. Uh, because peace and conflict resolution is neither a zero-sum game nor a technical issue consist, consisting only of strategic steps. Uh, conflict resolution similar to the conflict that arises in the culture and positioned there is a process that requires including that of uh, instrincing to culture. When the dynamics of the local are recognized and their cultural codes are decoded, the conflict can be analyzed better and an effective solution can be applied more easily. Uh, as a matter of fact, local methods are being rediscovered in addition to Western co conflict resolution. Provided that we are aware of the handicaps of localization, uh, this rediscovery, which is called as uh, the local term, is now taken into account in the mediation activities carried out by the United Nations and the end of macro disputes as well. In other words, traditional approaches that incorporate the local peacekeeping knowledge have an important place in contemporary uh, conflict transformation today. Uh, 
Johan Galton who theorized that the conflict should not be resolved but transformed delivered very valuable uh, information at this point. According to him, as cultural violence um, legitimizes direct violence and especially structural violence, uh, all forms of violence must be transformed by peaceful means. In other words, cultural cause must be purified from violence in order to realize a culture of peace. And for this, peace building practices, uh, local peace specific to the culture must be put into effect. Uh, because these approaches would have local legitimacy and are called bottom-up methods uh, they are uh, participatory culturally appropriate low-cost and sustainable approaches uh, in maybe in some uh, scientific articles you can see bottom-up peace building methods as non-state and non-western approaches in many conflict areas, conflict regions, especially in Africa, uh, indigenous uh, re conflict resolution methods are accepted instead of contemporary peacekeeping methods, which are accept accepted as uh, imported methods. Uh, because the local ones or the indigenous, one, indigenous one are rooted in the history, traditions and ancient knowledge of the society in which they were born. Today, thanks to the traditions such as Gajaj Accords in Rwanda, Nahabiti Process in East Timor, Loya, Jirga Peacemaking in or committees peace, peace committees in Afghanistan, Ubuntu in Social Africa, Matupot in Northern Uganda, uh, and etc., uh, can work more effectively to peacefully transform the conflict in the relevant region, especially when when the uh, when we talk about the uh, social peace. In addition to all these expressions, we couldn't say that the co contemporary peacemaking methods are completely dysfunctional and traditional ones are uh, the only solution. Because it's a huge mistake to think of local methods as a magic formula that eliminates the other's problem. Due to the fact that traditional methods, even if they are culture-specific, can turn into mechanisms that cause or perpetuate certain problems in terms of peacemaking. For example, local peace practices can sometimes be too conservative or male-dominated and become a means of concentrating power in the hands of a single class, just as the local reconciliation practices of the Kurdish tribes were implemented in an Intermail arena through an agreement between man and acceptance, acceptance of man. Uh, traditional mediation practices refer the role of cultural and community values, beliefs, norms, and religion in mediation process. These practices, which engage with social life, constitute an alternative to the legal system of the state, as I said before, and they offer people a different way against a legal system if the law system doesn't work properly. In Kurdish society, tribe is the main carrier of culture and tradition, so tribal values, beliefs and norms have a potential to shape social conflict and peace practices. For example, blood food, uh, queen uh, in, in Kurdish, is the main form of conflict while blood money and peace dinner uh, are the main forms of conflict resolution. When we look at these practices, um, blood food or, or uh, the, the, the main forms of conflict and conflict resolutions, it will be seen that by these activities, including traditional mediation, different, uh, different fa by these ones, different femininity and masculinities are performed. Uh, in another word, the traditional mediation methods in Kurdish society are intensely gendered because the values produced by this structure, the area in which it moves and the power it represents a sector are gendered in favor of masculinity. Hence, bottom-up peace building, which includes uh, traditional mediation processes and focuses on the resolution of intertribal conflicts in Kurdish culture, is also gendered. According to my observations and preliminary results of uh, research, I must say that 
but the actors and the discourse of social negotiation have been transformed with local mediators who have been added to traditional mediation in its form in its current form and this is uh, so important uh, because when the 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 tradition the traditional transform local in peace in conflict resolution uh, the handicaps can be resolved but the link with gender has continued on an axis that reproduces masculinity uh, these results have capacity to produce important knowledge on bottom-up peace building especially as a non-state and non-western peace building uh, gender and social negotiation first of all mediation which ha- which was carried out with traditional norms and religious discourse in kurdish culture has been secularized and integrated within political with the involvement of uh, the pro-kurdish political parties as a mediator in the process and thanks to uh, this culture specific transformative mediators traditional started to transform local local mediation which has gained the capacity to create new new norms of new norms by liberating from the traditional offers a new form of negotiation in the resolution of both meso and micro conflicts and makes it possible for women to be included as actors in this male dominated process uh, and after i I finished the transcribing and thematizing process of the research. I believe that I will uh, uh, I will have, um, I will uh, shape the uh, I can I will have have a potential or have a capacity to to write uh, these the, the complexities and the um, opportunities to talk about peace batma peace building and the, the especially the, the relationship of batma peace building and gender uh, better thank you so much i know that uh, you have some problems uh, some questions and uh, i wish uh, i will be there and uh, give some uh, or, or um, talk with you and uh, say something about your questions uh, but as I said before, because of some problems, it couldn't be uh, possible. Thank you a lot. I think that uh, the conference will be will, will, will uh, or is going well, and I will be that uh, it it is an enjoyable event. Thank you, uh, and see you maybe in another platform. <laughs>